Hey guys, Adam Turner here with the Theta Flight Team. I thought I would just show you guys what I do when I get a fresh set of servos. And that is I'm going to go through the settings on here and also um, set the midpoint on the servo. So I've just bought these set of uh, Theta servos, the Kenico editions, the 788s, which are the 2S version, not the new 3S version. Uh, for me right now, I'm running uh, 8.4 volt BEX, so this is the absolute best servo for me. Uh, so what we're going to want is our servo, obviously, a, the, C, the Theta servo programmer, a 2S LiPo battery, or you could use anything like a 4.8 volt NICAD. Um, server horn, obviously, they come with the server horns in the pack. These are the server horns that I use. They're extremely tight on the spline, uh, which means that they don't have any backlash and they break in a crash, which is brilliant because it would save your servo. So they act as a fuse. Uh, so let's just move this out of the way. So the first thing you're going to want to do, take your 2S LiPo with a servo lead and plug that into the left hand socket up here. So this, if you have a look on the back here, says I for input. So plus minus, let's make sure I get that the right way around. So plug that in there, like that. And then this will boot up and you'll see the Theta servo menu. Okay, now what we want to do is to take our servo. So the white lead here is the signal wire on the back of the servo tester. You'll see that it says S and that's for servo or for signal. Uh, and then you've got positive, negative. So for me, that means that the gold connections, see those gold connections there, they actually face the back of this unit. Uh, so the white wire there goes facing left. So let's plug that in. And there you go, that is now on, but it's not booted up yet. So what we want to do first of all is just to go into test menu. And there you go, boots up and goes to its center point. And you can see here the server horn is not lined up. So what we're going to want to do first of all is just fix that. So we exit out of here, go to PROM, which is program. And we go and press the right hand button for read servo. Now sometimes this does happen. So you've just got to exit out of here, press PROM and read servo again. And then I'm just going to press up to go to the very bottom of this menu, which is our neutral position. You can see here it says 0, 0.0. So I know that up me is positive when the horn is facing to the right. So I'm going to put in negative, say, four, as it's quite far off this one. Press enter and we want right servo. Right, OK, exit. And we get the Theta server menu up again, go to test. And we can see that has lined it up, but not all the way. So it still needs to come down a little bit further. Exit, program, read servo, go up, neutral position. Let's try another two. So negative six, press the center button, right servo, right OK, up to exit and back to test. Now we're getting very close now. So what I do at this point is I've actually got one of these tiny little squares and uh, I will put that onto the back of the servo here. And then using a white background, you can actually see that I'll sort of rock it back and forth here. You can see the light shining through these holes. And this is a lot harder to do when these are installed on the helicopter. But you can see here that the top hole is still just a tiny bit bright when the others have gone dark when I rock it like that. So that means that I need to move the servo this way some more. So let's do that. So we're going to exit out of here, go back to program, read servo, up, neutral position, let's try. 6.5 or negative 6.5. Right servo, exit, test. That has moved again. Let's try our little square trick. Perfect. And now we have a perfect square servo. And so on our sub trims, on our fly unit, we now won't need to add in any sub trim, which is great. 
And uh, now you, what you're going to want to do is do this on all three of your cyclic servos. Uh, optional, you could do it on the tail servo, but that's not strictly necessary. Um, the centre point there doesn't matter too much on most fly systems. Um, and uh, <laughs> what you're also going to need to make sure is that you don't put the horn on the same way, unless your um, helicopter requires it. Uh, make sure you put the horn on in the direction which is required when you are uh, <laughs> fixing it to the helicopter. What you don't want is your arm to be in the wrong position. Um, so that's how you use the servo programmer to uh, program these servos.